Scarface came out, Amy Winehouse was born and Metallica released their debut album Kill Em All. Yes, you name it, it's 1983. And today I have the pleasure of unboxing and showing you a long forgotten Gibson guitar of the 80s, of 1983 to be exact. My name is Marco. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump to the unboxing. All right, so here we are. This is the guitar. As you can see, it's from Guitar Point. And yeah, this video is not sponsored, by the way. Bought it by myself. And yeah, this guitar arrived a few hours ago. I let it sit for a few hours. And yeah, now it's time for the big reveal. So it's already pretty late at night, so I cannot do it in my music room because my little one is sleeping. But yeah, so I have to do it here in the living room slash kitchen. But yeah, who cares? Let's see what the sucker is. Pretty excited. Haven't played any of these before. So quite rare birds to say the least. And as you already know from the title, it's a Gibson. Let's hope the headstock is still there <laughs> where it should be. Nice, nice package. Okay. There we have it, my friends. This is an aftermarket case. It's not the original one. If it was the original one, I'm pretty sure some of you would recognize what this is. But yeah, like the title says, it's an 80s Gibson. So it's not the original protector case, chainsaw case. But yeah, let's see what it is. I think I'm gonna switch the camera for this. Give me a sec. All right, so there we go. One, two, three, four latches. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. Boom. Oof. Look at that sucker. I'm not sure if you know what this is, but I know what it is. It's a Gibson with a headstock. No, just kidding. This, everybody, let me see. Yeah. This is a Gibson Spirit 2. From 1983. <laughs> Look at that top. Okay, I'm gonna put back the camera to a better position. So, here we have it. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a gorgeous looking guitar. A badass looking guitar. Oh man. And yeah. I'm gonna take a look at it closer now. Gonna tune it up, gonna have a, a little jam. Then I'm gonna have my dinner. And yeah, let's go back to future Marco. He's gonna tell you 
a little more in detail what this is. And he will also show you some tones. Let's go. So here we are back again. I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing. Here we are with the guitar and yeah, let's have a closer look at it. This, my friends, is a Gibson Spirit 2. Um, there are quite a few variations of this model around, or they were around back then. Uh, most basically there is a Spirit 1 and a Spirit 2. And as the name suggests, Spirit 1 only had one pickup, one humbucking pickup and Spirit 2 has two humbucking pickups. And um, they also had some other differences like most of the, the Spirit 2s had the binding here on the body and they came with the flame tops and most of the Spirit 1s didn't came with binding or a flame top but sometimes they also did so there is quite a, a mix and stuff going on back then. And it's interesting because the first spirits um, were made in Kalamazoo under the Epiphone branding. And uh, I believe after one year they decided to switch to the Gibson branding and just because the Epiphone ones didn't sell that well. Um, people didn't want to have Epiphones, they preferred Gibsons, so they put on the Gibson logo. I mean, it was Gibson factory, but yeah, they also put the Gibson logo on it. And you have some transition models that even have a Gibson uh, logo, but underneath the Gibson logo, you can see the shadow of the Epiphone logo. So it's quite interesting. So this one is an 83 model, so it's yeah, right after they changed to the Gibson branding. So there is no Epiphone logo on this one. Uh, this They also switched from Kalamazoo to Nashville. So this is a Nashville model made in 83. And when I saw this guitar, <laughs> I, I just fell in love with the looks instantly. Um, there were there are some other variations of that model like uh, somewhere with the XPL in the name, like the Spirit XPL, whatever. And it had the Explorer headstock, but basically the rest is the same. And there were some HSS configurations, um, some other, like, I'm not sure if it was a Carler Dremolo or a Floyd Rose, but I think it was a Carler. Um, many different variations and this particular one is a Spirit 2 from 83 like I said. Um, they also have interesting wood choices so it's not your typical mahogany mahogany um, or with the maple top. This I believe this model is a maple body three-piece maple neck um, and it has a flame top veneer um, I'm not 100% sure, but maybe 95%. And the cool thing is this flame maple veneer is a one-piece veneer. So there's there's no, jo no joint or something. It looks spectacular. It has a sunburst finish, nitro cellulose lacquer. Uh, this came with a two-piece shallow bridge wrap around style bridge with adjustable saddles um, made in Germany that bridge is made in Germany so that's cool for me um, and the other thing that is pretty special about these guitars are the pickups these are double wide humbuckers um, by Tim Shaw and if you're a guitar nerd you're pretty sure you know Tim Shaw uh, he designed really, really nice and sought after pickups for Gibson, and these are 59, um, like 59 PAFs um, replicas, double wide. So that's super cool. And yeah, so super cool pickups, beautiful looks with the binding, interesting wood choices, and you might think. This guitar is like a yeah a maple slab. 
so it's heavy as hell but it is not it's 3.4 kilograms um, 3.42 to be exact um, so this is super lightweight and it's a really a good find for the spirit and as you can also see this guitar um, is like the body shape clearly is a DC a double cut junior style and I love that look and what's also cool is typically they came with the like the juniors came with the strap button at the heel of the neck at the neck pocket uh, and some spirits also did but there are also some that came with the strap button at the upper horn um, as stock and that's great for the whole neck dive balance thing so it's a super cool pretty rare guitar and this one is in great condition i mean it has some lack of checking the frets are still in great condition um yeah like i said lack of checking everywhere it has some dents it has been played and it yellowed like hell because it belonged to a smoker to a heavy smoker so the the white or cream bindings like almost orange and at some areas um so this thing has some serious mojo going on it originally came with the clues and style tuners so nothing too fancy here the gold silk screen logo um the spirit truss rod cover and yeah i i just dig everything it has a uh, two volume knobs for both pickups and one master tone. So that's also quite intuitive three-way switch um, So nothing too fancy here the neck the neck is not chunky To be honest, it's like a slim C down in the in the low at the lower frets and it gets a little bigger in the upper frets but it still feels quite comfortable. Mm, I'm pretty sure this won't be my number one guitar because of because the neck is is not not chunky and I like chunky necks. But it still feels pretty nice, and yeah, it's fun. It, it's really fun playing it, and it truly is something special. Yeah, so I guess that's. What I know about this guitar, there are some other cool reviews out there from Trockley's Guitar Show. He also um, can tell you a lot of stuff about the spirits and um, that's where I got my information from and of course from, from other um, sources on the internet. But yeah, I haven't played it with an amplifier so far, I just played it with my Boss Baza Air, um, and now it's time to plug it in.
everybody that's it for this video today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had fun if you did please subscribe to my channel and um, give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments what do you think about this um, rare guitar and this interesting guitar i think it's pretty cool and yeah take care everybody i guess we're gonna see us in the next video then peace